Okay, welcome to the Strange North channel. In this video, I'm going to explain why I think Saskatoon is a better city than Regina. So these are the two largest cities in the province of Saskatchewan. And much like Alberta, Saskatchewan is experiencing a lot of growth right now. People are moving to the prairie region of Canada from within the country and from all over the world. And when people are moving to Saskatchewan, they tend to move to one of the larger cities. And so I thought it might be useful to compare Saskatoon and Regina. And compared to Alberta, for example, the big cities in Saskatchewan are a lot smaller. The current metro population of Saskatoon is about 347,000 people and the current metro population of Regina is about 253,000 people. Regina is the capital city of Saskatchewan and Saskatoon is the largest city in the province. And I have to say I really think that Saskatoon is a better city than Regina overall. Like when I'm comparing Edmonton and Calgary and Alberta I really don't think I like one city more than the other. They each have distinct advantages and they're very comparable. And over the years I've spent a lot of time in Regina and Saskatoon and both cities have distinct advantages but I really do think that Saskatoon is the best city in Saskatchewan and I think it's one of the best cities in the country it's an absolute gem it's quite small compared to the bigger cities in Canada and a lot of people just don't know that much about it and so I find that a lot of people are surprised by how much they enjoy their visit to Saskatoon and so I came up with a bunch of reasons why I think Saskatoon is better than Regina and I hope you find this useful if you're maybe looking at moving to Saskatchewan and you're comparing the two biggest cities I'm also also going to do a separate video in a few days on why I think Regina is better than Saskatoon. But in this video, I'm going to be focusing on Saskatoon. So here are six reasons why I think Saskatoon is better than Regina. Okay, so the first reason on my list is a bit abstract, and this is my personal opinion, but I think that overall, Saskatoon has a much better vibe than Regina. With Saskatoon being the biggest city in Saskatchewan, I find that it has a lot more buzz surrounding it than Regina. It has a bit more of an exciting vibe. And at the same time, I also find that it has a more peaceful, pleasant vibe than Regina, even though it is considerably bigger. And Saskatoon is significantly bigger than Regina. For example, when you're comparing the two biggest cities in Alberta, Edmonton and Calgary, I've always thought that Calgary had a bit more buzz than Edmonton, and that was partly due to the fact that it's just a little bit bigger. But when you're looking at total metro populations, Calgary is only about 7% bigger than Edmonton. But Saskatoon is actually about 37% larger than Regina. And so that difference is a lot more significant than the difference between Edmonton and Calgary. And over the past five or 10 years, Saskatoon has really grown in terms of global recognition and popularity. It is often featured in best places in the world to visit list. And in the United States, publications like USA Today and the New York Times have listed Saskatoon as one of their places to check out. And even though it's one of the lesser known cities in Canada, it is becoming a legitimate tourist destination. And personally, I think that the topography of Saskatoon makes it more interesting and dynamic than Regina. I think this is partly due to the fact that Saskatoon has more hills and there's a large valley cutting through the middle of the city, whereas Regina in comparison is extremely flat. One of the nicknames of Saskatoon is Paris of the Prairies. I believe that's from a tragically hip song, Wheat Kings, I think. And I do find there's more of a relaxed, creative, even romantic vibe in Saskatoon when compared to Regina. And I think that the vibe of Saskatoon would definitely make it more attractive to younger people who are wanting a bit more of an interesting urban experience even though Saskatoon is quite small. And of course, later in the video, I'm going to get into more specific attributes of Saskatoon, but I think that the general vibe is a lot better in this city than it is in Regina. And I simply think that for this reason, Saskatoon is the better city. Okay, the number two reason on my list is the fact that Saskatoon has a very lush river valley cutting right through the middle of the city. And of course, having a river in the middle of the city isn't unique to Saskatoon. This is a common feature of many cities. But when you compare it to Regina, Regina is actually the only city city in Canada that I can think of that is not located on a major body of water. And Saskatoon has a fairly major river, the South Saskatchewan River, cutting right through the middle of it. And of course, there's this massive river valley surrounding it. And I know that many cities have rivers running through them. These waterways were really essential transportation corridors in centuries past. But Saskatoon in particular has done a very good job of preserving its river valley and its green spaces surrounding this body of water. It's sort of like Edmonton in that way. Both Edmonton and Calgary have major rivers running through the city, but Edmonton has a much more lush river valley than Calgary does, and it's really done a good job of preserving a bunch of green space around the water. And so my point is that rivers are very common in cities and towns, but the Saskatoon River Valley in general is particularly lush and well-protected. The Saskatoon River Valley is maintained and managed by the Miwasin Valley Authority, and they've done a really good job in preserving the green spaces around this valley. And I think my appreciation for this 
is partially due to the fact that I was raised in Edmonton, which has a particularly lush river valley itself. And besides enjoying the river valley trails, citizens of Saskatoon really like being out on the river. And boating, canoeing, and even paddle boarding is extremely popular within the city. And I know a lot of people won't necessarily care about this, but in my opinion, the fact that Saskatoon has a lush river valley in the middle of the city makes it a little bit better than Regina. Okay, the third reason on my list is the fact that Saskatoon just has a bigger, better downtown than Regina. Again, both of these cities are relatively small within the context of Canada, and they are not bustling urban cosmopolitan centers. But I just find that when you're comparing the two downtowns, it's much better in Saskatoon. Saskatoon's downtown is bigger, better, more interesting, and a lot cleaner and safer than Regina's. Like I already mentioned, Saskatoon is about 37% larger than Regina, and so of course it's going to have a more prominent central core. And downtown Saskatoon is just a lot prettier too, I think largely due to the fact that it is bordering the river valley which I just mentioned. And so a lot of areas of the central core have these lush green spaces surrounding them. Even just the downtown skyline in Saskatoon is a little bit better. It definitely features more prominent iconic buildings in Saskatchewan like the Besborough Hotel. It also has the tallest building in the province, the 88 meter nutrient tower in the river landing area. And of course downtown Saskatoon and Regina don't have the same shopping options as larger cities in Canada, but you're going to find a lot more options in the central core of Saskatoon compared to Regina. And even Saskatoon's Midtown Mall in the downtown area is a lot better than the Cornwall Centre in Regina. And personally, I much prefer living in the central core of a city as opposed to the suburbs, which I find a bit boring. And I know a lot of people feel the same way. And in Saskatoon, you're going to find a lot more high-rise condo and apartment options in downtown Saskatoon than you will in Regina. And of course, you can't compare the downtowns of these cities to places like Vancouver, Toronto, and Montreal. These are much smaller cities. But I just find that overall, downtown Saskatoon is a lot more interesting, vibrant, and walkable than downtown Regina. And I just think that this is one of the ways in which it is a better city. Okay, so the number four reason on my list is the fact that Saskatoon has a lot more walkable areas outside of its downtown core than Regina does. And when you're looking at any city or town, really, the downtown area is going to have the highest concentration of businesses and restaurants and shopping and that kind of stuff. That's always been the case and I'm definitely stating the obvious there. But most cities also have other areas apart from their downtown cores that are vibrant and interesting and so you don't have to completely rely on hanging out downtown. For example, I'm thinking of places like Kensington and Inglewood in Calgary and of course Edmonton has places like Old Strathcona and Garneau and Highlands and so a good city always has distinct areas outside of its downtown core that are also vibrant and interesting. When when you're talking about Regina, outside of the downtown core, it doesn't have that many interesting places to walk around. I mean, you've got Wiscana Center, which is this beautiful park complex surrounding the legislative building, and I'm going to get to that in my Regina video. And you've also got a small area along 13th Avenue in the Cathedral neighborhood, and you've also got the Warehouse District just off Dudney Avenue, just north of the downtown core. Honestly, I love this area of Regina, and I think in time it could become one of the coolest neighborhoods in Saskatchewan. And while it's a really cool area, Area, it's still quite rough and I would not consider it to be a highly walkable area of Regina yet. But when you're talking about Saskatoon, it just has a lot more to offer outside of the downtown core. Across the river from downtown, you have the whole neighborhood of Natana centered on Broadway Avenue. Natana is actually the oldest neighborhood in Saskatoon. This was the original settlement of the city. And this whole area is incredibly vibrant and very walkable and green. And I just love this area of the city. And Regina just does not have a comparable area like this outside of its downtown core. And then just to the northeast of the Broadway Natana area, you have the University of Saskatchewan campus, which is a beautiful area and incredibly walkable. You also have the neighborhood of Riversdale just to the southwest of downtown. This has been described as the coolest neighborhood in Saskatchewan. It has undergone significant redevelopment and gentrification, honestly, within the past 10 or 15 years. And it's definitely had its issues, but I just find that this area has an incredible collection of cafes, restaurants, and shops shopping. And although it's rough around the edges, I find Riversdale to be a really fun and interesting place to hang out. And then a bit further north into the city from Riversdale, you have the area around 33rd Street. It's not a huge area, but this street has really developed its own identity over time. And this is becoming a really cool enclave of the city with a unique set of shops and restaurants. In particular, I would recommend Glitch Gifts and Oddities Museum, especially if you're into weird and strange things. This is a really fun shop to check out. I mean, you've even got City Park, which is a neighborhood just to the north of downtown. This area isn't as popular as the ones I just mentioned, but in particular, I've really come to appreciate the City Perks Coffee
coffee shop in this neighborhood. And this is just another area that's close to the downtown core that is very green and walkable. And this neighborhood has a ton of living options. And so my point is that a good city will have places outside of its downtown core that are vibrant and interesting. And Saskatoon just has way more of these areas than Regina does. And I just find that this is one of the ways in which Saskatoon is the better city. Okay, the number five point on my list is not really a big one. It's not a big one to me anyway, because I cannot vouch for any of these institutions personally. But Saskatoon definitely has better post-secondary institutions than Regina. And I think this is one of the small things that gives Saskatoon a more youthful, energetic vibe. I think that major universities are a real boost to a city because it provides young people and ideas and youth and excitement. I think you know what I'm saying. University students can also be incredibly pretentious and annoying. But I really think that universities are a good thing for a city. Not only in providing a youthful, vital energy, but also because young educated people can really contribute to the development of the city. And Saskatoon has the best post-secondary institution in the province, which is the University of Saskatchewan. The University of Regina is also a great school. In fact, it's routinely rated one of the top universities in the country for undergraduate research. But honestly, it really doesn't hold a candle to the University of Saskatchewan overall. This is a major research university in the country, and it provides education from the bachelor to the postdoctorate levels. And although I've never been a student at the U of S, I have to say that this university campus is really beautiful and I love walking around this area. Last summer I visited Saskatoon and I went around the city taking footage of all of its haunted buildings and a couple of the prominent haunted locations in Saskatoon are on the University of Saskatchewan campus. And honestly I'd recommend that if you're new to a city, even if you're not attending a university, if there's a really beautiful campus you should definitely walk around it. These areas often have beautiful architecture, old historic buildings and lush green spaces. And it really seems like when you're talking about post-secondary education, you either go the university route or the technical vocational school route. And the big technical school of this sort in Saskatchewan is Saskatchewan Polytechnic. It's headquartered in Saskatoon, but it has campuses across the province, including a couple in Regina around the University of Regina campus. But Saskatoon has about seven or eight different polytechnic facilities spread throughout the city. And it just has a lot more options for training facilities and programs. And I'm not going to get into all of the smaller post-secondary schools in Saskatoon and Regina. I just think when you're talking about the major universities and technical vocational schools in the province, Saskatoon is the clear winner. And I don't think this is a major point because the amount of people pursuing post-secondary education is relatively small given their proportional representation in the population at large. But I think it's very clear that the schools are better in Saskatoon and so I think this is one of the ways in which Saskatoon is better than Regina. Okay, and at number six to close out this list is the fact that Saskatoon has a much better food scene than Regina. I'm talking about restaurants, pubs, coffee shops, bars, everything like that. And in the past 10 years or so, there's been a lot more food buzz in Saskatoon. And Saskatoon has always had a strong restaurant scene, but I think this has really increased in the past 10 or 15 years or so. And I think this is largely due to people like Dale McKay, who has really become the restaurant king of Saskatchewan. Dale McKay is a previous winner of the Top Chef Canada competition. And in addition to winning the competition, he is an internationally trained chef who has worked in really reputable establishments across the world. And after spending time abroad, he eventually returned to Saskatoon where he established the Grassroots Restaurant Group. And their restaurants such as Aiden and Little Grouse on the Prairie have routinely been listed on top restaurants in Canada lists. And besides Saskatoon, this group is even starting to develop restaurants in Regina, including the very popular Avenue new restaurant. I mean, you also have Christy Peters, which is another one of these what I call hipster celebrity chefs. She is another very well-regarded internationally trained chef. One of her old restaurants, which closed over the pandemic, was called The Hollows in the neighborhood of Riversdale. This is one of the best restaurants I've ever been to in my life, and it's a real shame that this place is closed down. But she still operates the very popular Primal restaurant in Riversdale, and she's just another example of these very well-regarded chefs that have done a lot of work in developing the restaurant scene in Saskatoon. And honestly, in my opinion, Saskatoon has a disproportionate amount of excellent restaurants given its overall size. And I don't want to talk too much about the food scene in Saskatoon in this video because I plan on doing a separate video on that subject in the future. But Saskatoon just has a ton of great food options. I mean, in the north end of the city, you've got Baba's Homestyle Pierogies, which is the only drive through pierogi restaurant in Canada. And for coffee lovers out there, you won't find a better cup of coffee in the entire province than 
at Museo Coffee on Broadway Avenue. I'm not big into pubs and bars, I don't drink that much, but I do occasionally, and when you're talking about the pubs and bars in Saskatoon, they're also a lot better than those in Regina. And so I definitely like to do a separate video talking about the food scene in Saskatoon, because there's so much to explore there, and I didn't want this video to be super long. And this is just one of my favorite features of Saskatoon in general, and in this area, it is definitely a lot better than Regina. And that pretty much wraps up my list. So those are six reasons why I think Saskatoon is better than Regina. And like I mentioned, I really do like Saskatoon better than Regina overall, but I also really enjoy the city of Regina as well. I think it's very underrated, and in some ways, it's definitely better than Saskatoon. And so in a few days, I'm going to do a video on why Regina is better than Saskatoon. Saskatchewan is experiencing a high rate of growth right now, and a lot of people are looking at these two cities as potential places to live. And so I hope you find these videos comparing cities to be useful. If you like these city comparison videos, I recently posted a couple videos comparing Edmonton and Calgary. And if you'd like to watch more of my videos in general, please consider subscribing to my channel. I upload about one new video per week. And please leave your comments below. I'd love to hear people's thoughts on what I just said, as well as their general thoughts and opinions on Saskatoon versus Regina and Saskatchewan in general. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I look forward to seeing you next time on the Strange North channel.